What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Freshly Baked Props. As always, I am Tony. Uh, recently, I've been seeing uh, on the forums and the on YouTube and everything like that, everybody's been jumping off these uh, uh, light year vehicles for the six inch classified figures. And I figured, why not? I'll jump off with the rest of you. Um, this was on sale at Target a couple weeks ago for 20 bucks. That's the only reason I did it because these they're kind of pricey, these vehicles. They're not cheap. Um, we'll get to the truck in a second, but the, the plane itself was, I think was like, uh, retails for like 30 to $40. At least that's where I'm seeing it now on, on Amazon and Target. Target's $29.99 and uh, Amazon is $39.99. And it, some people are crazy on eBay to try to sell it for like a hundred bucks. I don't, I don't fucking know why, but whatever. Um, but it's, it is easy to customize. It is, there's, there is one issue and I don't know if anybody discussed it when they, cause I, I'm, I am seeing a bunch of these videos online about how everybody customized these things and a lot of them are making them for Cobra vehicles. I just wanted to make a Joe one. Um, and I'll get to that at the end why I did it, but, um, it is pretty easy to paint. It is a bitch to take apart. So it's all screw based on the bottom, but one wing has two rivets in it. You have to screw through the rivets to, to break it apart to get the top and the bottom to separate so you can paint them. That's the only annoying part. Everything else is easy breezy. Uh, the, the, the missiles and the wings, they go back together pretty easy. Uh, the, 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 the doors, they go back on no problem. The mechanism that opens everything up doesn't break, nothing breaks. Um, just don't rip this thing apart. Remember the two rivets on the one wing. I don't remember which wing it is, but you'll know when you're taking it apart. It's clearly not the one wing that snaps in, it's the wing that's already on, that's fixed on the ship. So the whatever the wing that's fixed on the ship, just know when you take this thing apart, there's two rivets holding this thing together. But all you gotta do is uh, just gut it. Take the shit, the, the seat out, and the and that dumb control arm thing that he that he flips out into. And uh, you know, look, I'll show sign some light. There you go. There's really nothing. In it. Like I said, you're not gonna see the seat. And a lot of people are sticklers and they want the seat in there. If you want to mold a seat, mold a seat, I guess. But I don't, I don't give a fuck. You're going to put them in there and you're not going to see them sitting in there. They sit in there comfortably. I had, um, I always, I always forget his name. Breaker or something. The guy that came with the Ram Cycle. He kind of looks like a pilot. So I put him in here for shits and gigs just to see if he would fit. And he fits very, very comfortably and, and no problem. He's got plenty of space and you can close the cockpit and everything's good. Um, like I said, I know a lot of people customized it for Cobra because of how like pointy it is. Um, and you know, you could do that, I guess, but I, I just, I think this is, looks more like a U.S. military vehicle because it's Star Command for Buzz Lightyear. I just felt like it should be more of a G.I. Joe thing than a Cobra thing. I do have decals coming. I ordered some G.I. Joe decals and stickers to put all over this fucking thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, considering it's a Buzz Lightyear vehicle. I was thinking about just keeping an XL-15. I do like that, that, uh, that, uh, designation, but we'll see what happens. Um, I did add the guns. It didn't come with guns. Um, these guns were the uh, 50 cal guns that came with the Fortnite figures. Uh, I don't know if anybody's aware about the Ollie's thing with the ship, the boats, the Fortnite boats and the figures. The figures are six bucks, the gliders are $3, the boats are $14. I haven't yet to find the boats, I'm still looking, but the figures, if you need to army build, Metal Mouth is there for six bucks, you could army build easily with Metal Mouth. And he comes with these 50 cal guns. And I just took two of them, I put them into EVA foam, and just some wiring, some old uh, USB cables that I had, and just some little things, just a little decorative, like, I don't want to say decorative, but like little tactical, like vents and shit, so like the gun doesn't overheat. This little thing right here it was a little cap to an LED light. I figured that would be the sensor. The gun, you know, was trying to find its target. Um, the coolest part that they do articulate, like I just showed you, um, it's this part right here, this little square piece. That's the square piece that um, that locks the ship in the box. So the little mechanism now that they have that like that little cap and lock system that locks the, the, the vehicles in the box and you, um, you just turn them and the, the vehicle comes out. I just took both of those, I flipped them upside down. I took the stick that, would, that locked, that the key basically, that locked the thing and I glued it to the gun itself. So now I have a little bit of a articulation on the gun. I thought that was pretty sick. I was going to light it up, but I just didn't want to start wiring this shit. Where am I going to put the battery pack? There's not much. I mean, you could put it in the back of the ship because the ship does still open. But I don't want to go crazy with that kind of stuff. I'm just going to have to put like effects in After Effects because this is a part of a stop motion project I'm working on. Um, which brings me to the truck. Now, a lot of people I saw on um, the Classifieds Facebook, people were asking about this because it's $5 on Amazon. 
and it was like bundled with the, the, the plasma drill that was $7 that everybody went ape shit for and bought. I unfortunately came late to the party. I couldn't get the plasma drill, although brilliant, brilliant move for everybody who knew and, and knew what to do and customize it for classified figures because that was perfect. But this thing is customizable too. Um, now, I know people looking at the how small it is and you know, how you're going to fit a figure in there. And, you know, that's a good question. Um, you're not going to fit a, a, a male size figure in here. And if you do, he's going to be scrunched. Now, I do know that there are some pickup trucks this fucking small. I've seen them on the road myself. But that's up to you if you want to scrunch your figure in. I do know that there's a guy on uh, YouTube, his name, uh, Articulating Ninja. He basically takes, like, the legs off to put them in exosuits. Like, which is a good idea, too, if you just want to take the legs off and, and put Duke in here. Or anybody else, I guess. I mean, it's only a picture. You, know, you don't need the legs. But... You can fit girls in here, and I'll show you why. Because I bought two of these, and uh, this is what it, this is how it comes. This is basically what it is. The blade part on the back is is usually disconnected. You just click it on, and it comes off. But I just you know after a repaint and a little bit of you know fucking around, I came up with this. Now, as you can see, I'll just move the plane one. There is a figure in there. It's the uh, Fortnite chick figure, uh, the Ollie and Sky uh, set that, that's at Ollie's. I like I said, I went to Ollie's and I was like, fuck it, I can army build with Fortnite figures. <laughs> and I just started buying all the Fortnite figures I can get. Um, but she fits in here, no problem. And properly, too. You, I did cut the, 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 the seat, has a back to it. I just cut the back out so she could just sit all the way up against the wall. But you could probably fit Lady J, Baroness, uh, Scarlet. Uh, the, the female Cobra soldiers, the, the female G.I. Joe op soldier, or the Valiverse. I'm sure you could fit the girls in here if you, if you want to. Um, I made, the, the, but like this is what you could do, is basically what I'm showing you. So if you want to fit figures in, you can. Now for this, I'm just making it a Mars Industries assault drone for my project. So uh, this is going to be robotic, robotically driven. So I ordered the five inch figures that fit inside this thing that look kind of like robots. So it looked like it's being driven by a robot because one of two things, either I'm going to sell this thing on Etsy when I'm done with it, or I'm going to blow it up with fireworks. I haven't decided yet. Um, but the missiles are pretty cool. The missiles, um, they do come in and out. Um, like I said, I need them for, for a stop motion. They're going to fire. Um, but they're, they're dollar store clip lights. So they do still work. So the light comes out. This is a half inch PVC. And this is just some Sintra plastic that I cut up into like odd triangles. I don't know what this isosceles. I don't know. I'm not a good math. Uh, but I glued them in just to give it a cool little detail. I'm going to take um, epoxy sculpt and just clean up this edge here. I don't want it to look too 90 degree. Uh, so I'm going to clean that up. But the, the, the light itself looks like a missile. It's got all the detail on it. If you want to add rivets, like I added all these rivets onto the, the box here. Um, you could do that too. But the box was easy too. It was just cardboard wrapped in foam. I know a lot of people tend to go with like central plastic or a 3D print. And that's, you know, more power to you. I have a 3D printer. I, I Like I said, I fuck with central plastic. But EVA foam is just so easy to work with. It's just so easy to... to, to heat up and bend and manipulate uh, you can burn detail into it uh, I, I used to be a cosplayer so I, I know a lot about EVA foam and it's just easy to work with than the HDX foam that a lot of people use dioramas for um, I, which I do use but I would rather use EVA foam too because you get all the same details with EVA foam and it won't break like if you drop a, a HDX foam diorama there's a good chance that it could crack or snap or break or get messed up with EVA foam, it just bounces, man. <laughs> I learned that, you know, I learned that the hard way. So, um, food for thought. Going in, I know it might be a little bit more expensive, but the way I price things out, it, it kind of factors out to the same price. So, if you ever worry, if you're ever trying to think about trying to do different like ways, approaches to diorama building, I would highly recommend EVA foam. It's it's real easy to work with, and fuck around with, um, and it won't melt under spray paint sucks with HDX foam. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is a quick paint job. You cut the back of the seats out, you could fit a female figure in here. I guess you could squeeze a male figure in here, but you would have to sit like George Costanza taking pictures for his girlfriend, where you have to like basically sit him across the seat 
sideways and then turn him like this so it looks like he's basically driving like a mermaid it just doesn't look right so i wouldn't fit figures in but like, again use your imagination cobra gi joe they use drones it's military based so they're not gonna always put soldiers in harm's way i mean i'm just trying to go with a 2023 outlook on this um so you know it could be an assault drone you know, i'm gonna like i said i got decals coming uh i'm gonna put mars industries on the door I figured, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, and you G.I. Joe marks out there, please correct me, but I'm assuming Mars Industries supplied Cobra with the weapons. I know Cobra had the logos on all the vehicles and stuff like that, obviously, but I assume Mars Industries supplied all these weapons. So for my stop motion program, I'm, I'm starting there. So a lot of it's going to have Mars Industries on it because I'm putting over Destro's company more than Cobra itself. I like to be, I want to have Cobra as more of a covert a secret terrorist organization not so you know our, our logo is on everything <laughs> you know uh kind of like hydra you know it, it's hidden uh, it's a secret society uh it's kind of what i'm going with my stop motion project which brings me to that um because that's all i got today uh like i said it's worth it five bucks on amazon you want to customize it for five dollars why the hell not you know if you mess up it was only five bucks you just toss it now nah, fuck it it's not it's not gonna work for me you know but five dollars I made, like I said, I made the missiles out of cardboard boxes and EVA foam. And then I just got like the the gem, the stick gem for the rivets just to, and I mounted it to the, to the, the blade with just a, with a machine screw. There's a machine screw that goes all the way through from one box to another with a couple of nut, uh, nuts and bolts just to hold it in place. Like I'll show you the light right here. So if you see, yeah, see the nuts right there and they just hold, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're just holding it in place. Um, and, and it does articulate. It, do, it does articulate like the, the 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 box. One box moves up. One box moves up. They move back. It's pr pretty top notch thing. Like I and I like like I, said, I like these missiles. I wanted big gaudy missiles. I felt like Cobra would go or Mars Industries would go. You know, kind of like dick measuring. <laughs> you know, so they make big fucking gaudy weapons. And uh, I like this. Like I said, and it, like I said, for five dollars, if I do blow it up with fireworks. I'm not mad because I only spent five bucks. Um, but other than that, like I said, that's all I got on these things. Uh, this gun was, I i don't even know how I got it. I think it was attached to a custom figure that I bought that I broke off of it. And I said, fuck it. And I just drilled a hole. It had one of those little pop cap things, the key things where you stick in and it opens up and sticks in place. So I drilled, drilled the perfect hole, squeezed it in. And now this thing is perfect. This thing articulates pretty well too. It goes up, down, side to side and stays in pretty tight. Um, I like this. Like I said, I'm going to fuck with the other one too. Now with the other one, I don't want to make it a missile-based vehicle. I'm going to go uh, like a plasma rifle. And I made this just out of some uh, just out of some EVA foam, another cardboard box. That's what this is. It's a cardboard box wrapped in EVA foam. Uh, I got a little bit of uh, that crochet mesh on the front. And then I'm going to put a little circle. I got a little circle uh, cap that I'm going to put so... It'll have two firing mechanisms, uh, full auto, and then a big plasma burst. But just, you know, some balsa wood. And this, you see the opening here, right here, will literally just slide over the laser so I can take it on and off. So if I want to destroy it and make it drop, I can fuck around with it. These are just wires that I added to the bottom because, if I don't know if you saw, the, the truck, all these trucks come with this, the tank doesn't come off. It's super glued in or whatever. You can't pull out those screwed in. You can pull it off, but you can't. It doesn't come off. So I'm just going to make this like the the, um, the the ammo for the plasma rifle. And I'm going to have the wiring feed to the tank here. This is just here for this. It could still open and stuff. But, uh, you know, I might put some stuff on the side. I didn't do anything. The only thing I did on the back, which I thought was pretty cool, was I added some vents because I figured when the missiles shoot out, something has to release the heat or whatever so the missiles don't explode in the box. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I noticed all these things have wiring and like little sensors so they can, uh, like the, the, the arm armature still articulates. The only issue is, and it it's on this truck too. It's not the boxes that did it, but it's very loose. It just comes like that. It's, it's nothing you can do about it unless you want to fix it on and glue it. But I don't want to do that because it slides in and out and it turns. And uh, even the blade itself does a 360 turn, but I can't because the box is wrong. So I'm not going to fuck with that, but. You know, I could set it back down in the truck and these things just basically sit on, on the, 
the, the sides of the truck. That's why if you look, you can see a little bit of red, got a little bit of the red paint on it. Um, but like I said, it was fun. It was, this was a fun build, it, but both of them, they were both fun builds. Um, like I said, they had a little bit of a pain in the ass to take them apart. Both of them, this with the, the two rivets and this, the dashboard was basically holding one side of the truck in and you had to like slide the dashboard out from the, the door screw or it, it was, it's a weird thing. But once you get it off, everything comes apart perfectly. You can paint it. No problem. The bottom just screws right off and this literally pops right off. The doors slide right off. Uh, this literally with a little bit of pressure, you could pull the thing right off and it comes apart pretty easily. And I painted everything in the dashboard too, so all the computer systems are all painted. I didn't do that for this yet, but I will. Um, like I said, I'm making, I got a stop motion pro project in the works. Uh, currently, I have the first uh, episode posted on, on this channel, so please check it out. It's called uh, Masters of the Toyverse. It's going to have everybody from E-Man to Star Wars to G.I. Joe to Marvel, DC, everybody. Um, but check it out. Uh, and like I said, all these vehicles are going to be featured in it. Um, I just literally purchased a Sigma-6 Dragonhawk because I watched another Articulated Ninja video. He customized the Dragonhawk. And I loved the, way, loved the way it looked. I loved the look of it. I loved how he sold it. <laughs> Even he said he was like almost like a salesman for it. But I loved the way he sold the vehicle. So I went and found one on Poshmark. They were very affordable. Um, they didn't have all the pieces. But again, I'll just make them. <laughs> I really don't care. So uh, I'll make my own ship and it'll be a new and improved Dragon Hawk. And I already have ideas in mind. So that's gonna, it's gonna be pretty awesome when I'm done with it. And I can't wait to show you guys that. I might show the process of that build. I did film the process of this, but I just, honestly, between you, me and the land post, just did not care to post it. It's just cardboard boxes wrapped in EVA foam. You know, do it, do it however you want. The shape, I just thought of. I just didn't want it to be boxy. Like I said, again, you can make this in a 3D print in a, in a program and then 3d print it you wanted plastic and then make missiles in, in 3d and i'm sure eventually i will get there because i have a 3d printer and eventually i will eventually start 3d printing my own parts but for now i still like to use my hands and i still like to build things from scratch i, I just it's it's just sometimes people don't have 3d printers you don't have access to it so you just got to do what you got to do so that was basically what this was i just wanted to see if i could still do it by hand um and i can so i'm very happy with it uh like i said if you're interested in getting the truck the truck is worth a buy for five dollars the plane is definitely worth a buy you just got to gut it and you can fit your figures in it and like i said you can make guns and mount guns to it the missiles still fire and the missiles are there just repainting them and it, it's a awesome plane awesome single piloted aircraft just like the dragon hawk's gonna be i can't wait to have my fleet gi joe vehicles and i did i did matter of fact i might i think i bought two dragonflies uh, uh from the hasbro labs uh uh, you know, uh, kick, Kickstarter thing. So I'm excited for those vehicles too. I missed out on the Cobra his tank, but it can't beat my wallet for everything. You know, you can only get me for so much. So I'll buy the, the helicopter. I'll buy a few of the helicopter. But um, I did see the Valiverse trucks that are coming out for 175, and I'm, those things are going to sell like hotcakes. So I hope they make enough to handle the demand that's going to be for those trucks because a lot of people are going to buy those. I uh, guarantee you I'm one of them. I'm going to buy at least two. So um, that's all the time I have today, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like the stuff I did. Like I said, a lot of people do Cobra planes with this. Man, yo, Joe, all the way. I'm a, I'm a baby face. I like the fucking good guys. <laughs> so I made it for Joe's. I'll get to Cobra. I'm gonna, I got some things in the works for them, some vehicles and stuff. So like I said, exhibit one. So, anyway. That's all the time I have. Please like and subscribe, guys. Please push me up in the algorithm. I want to hang out with guys like Articulated Ninja and Mike the Hunter. I want to, you know, show you guys that I'm a cool guy, too. Anyway, I'm Tony. This has been Freshly Big Props. As always, follow the channel. Take it easy. Peace and love.